he's uh, he's so cool. He is who he is, and um, sorry, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, he's cool. And Randy Jackson was cool, and Jennifer Lopez is. <laughs> God bless the USA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steven Tyler, would you ever do anything? Was ever I mean uh, he I mean he he would always come talk to me after the show, after like elimination or after like we would perform and you know, he'd always have good things to say, you know, just keep you know, doing what you're doing and because I like doing different things, you know, with music and uh and he respected that because he liked that and um you just tell me, you know, keep doing it and you know. He kind of he tell he said he grew up you know getting judged a lot because he was different and I was like he's like just keep doing what you're doing and I was like I appreciate him man he, he was really nice it was good to hear that from somebody like him you know. Well, I know you're coming back for the Fillmore, which we're excited about. We'll be giving away tickets, so don't you worry. Uh, what other projects? Anything big for the holidays, or just still touring with John? Just still going to still be touring with John, you know, until you know I think the last show is like October or something. Right now, and um, going to Brazil wow. with him, playing at Rock and Rio with Bruce Springsteen. Wow. Yeah, whoa, awesome. yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, then we're playing a few other shows down there as well, just you know, John and I. and um, Yeah, so that's just a lot of touring, you know, always riding too. So. You got to tweet us a picture of you on the beach at Rio with all I will. those bikinis. And I will. I'll be in the bikini. Hey now. <laughs> That would be great. <laughs> hey, which bikini? Oh, the one with the guitar. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully get a tan. I need to get a tan. I'm pretty pale. I guess you beat. He's got me beat. But I'm, I'm working my way to you. Well, be careful out there. It'll catch you up here in this high altitude. I know, right? <laughs> How about some more questions? Anybody? Don't be shy. What age did you learn guitar again? Um, I started playing guitar when I was about 14, almost 15. And uh, just kept listening to music. Just... My brother-in-law taught me a few of the main chords, and I just, I wouldn't hard, I wouldn't see him much, and so I just had a little karaoke machine, I would put a CD or a cassette tape in, and just listen to the music and try to pick it out as best I could for hours at a day, hours at a time. So you're more self-taught? Yeah, huh? yeah. I need to go take classes. <laughs> wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be a fun project? We walk him into like a DU music class. Hi, we have a new student that's looking oh, yeah. for a little help. <laughs> The video just watched the class. <laughs> yeah, I remember like watching an interview where you said like Red Rocks is one of the like places you've always wanted to play. How was it like actually performing there? Oh, I was terrified because uh, we walked out there before everyone got there, and everybody it was just right in front of your face, and uh, that was just tall. I said, "Man, I don't know about this." I was getting pretty scared, and then we walked out there, and the crowd was just so responsive. They were so awesome and dancing and grooving and. And it got me and all of us into it, and and uh, it was it was amazing. So uh, hopefully tonight's even better. <laughs> Very good, Emily. Got any? Mark, Bulldogs fan? Yeah. yeah. You? No. Oh. <laughs> Next. I was since you're from Georgia. Yeah. What, what sports teams you like in Georgia? Falcons or? Yeah, I just I'm not a big fan. Of, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a big NFL guy. Um, the South people are more into college for I like college. It's, it's just more passion to me. You know, those guys are really fighting for it. And uh, so I, I went, I've gone to several UGA games and back when I was like nine, uh, all the way up to like 15, 14. Herschel Walker days, huh? No. No? <laughs> no. Uh, it, well, I'm it, the older one on stage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was fun, you know, the people getting, because I would always go to the Georgia, Georgia Tech, and that's a big rival, sure. rivalry. And, um, and you have a, my brother-in-law's brother. He was, he's a hardcore Georgia fan, and there, we got after the game was over. I think we lost, or Georgia Tech lost, or something. I can't remember. But he was going up to the band and saying, "Yeah, Georgia, you know, Georgia Tech you know, stinks." And uh, he, he, the guy took his glove, Georgia glove, and just took it off his hand and just started stomping on it. So good memories. <laughs> yeah, good fans. <laughs> Get intense down there. They do. Yes. I was wondering at performing at Red Rocks, most artists think that that's like one of the big places to perform. Did you feel the same? Oh Did yeah, so much. It's just like we were talking earlier. There's so much history there, and uh, and it was just it was unreal to be on that same stage and and seeing all the you know pictures and you know, people who have signed and, and there's a plaque in there as well that 
goes on like a huge wall. Like people who have played there each year, and um, so that's it's, it's awesome to see all that history, and it's an honor to be able to play there too. It's beautiful. It is. Listen, he's gonna take. We're gonna let them uh, clear off, grab a drink, and we're we'll line y'all up, get some pictures and autographs here. Okay, give it up one more time. Thank you.